Welcome back friends. So today we're going to talk about a very important topic under the topic of fitness with Shano. So we're going to talk about sleep and diet. Let's take it up quickly. So I'm going to discuss about the different patterns of sleep over here. I'm going to talk about the different age groups of sleep and what number of hours does one need to really sleep as you grow up in your life from different ages. Third thing which I'm going to talk over here is what kind of things the most important things are three things which one needs to avoid and the next three things which one can do to improve the sleep there are actually many more of them which we'll be talking about in the next few episodes so now let's cover the first three ones which we need to do take care of before sleeping before I even go into the three things let's talk about the pattern of sleeping you see when you see a toddler a baby or a child the child has a sleeping pattern which is much more longer. They even sleep in the morning and they might be awake at night. So a toddler sleeps from somewhere around 10 to 12 to 16 hours. Whereas an teenager, a teenager will reduce the number of sleeping hours from 10 to 15 to 16 to somewhere around 10 to 8 hours. And as you keep on increasing in your age, when you reach around 20 to 25, you start sleeping somewhere around between seven to nine hours and that goes on and when you become somebody who's around 60s you see majority of your grandparents and parents some of them they tend to sleep lesser six hours of sleep is very very sufficient for an adult who's crossed beyond 60 years as become somebody who's elderly now now some of the elders they also sleep for much more longer that's a different aspect which depends actually upon the thought patterns which everybody has this has got something less to do with your age and more to do with your thoughts it's a combination of both your physicality and also your thought patterns so now let's talk about the thought patterns you go through actually five stages in sleep so let's talk about the deepest sleep the deepest sleep happens when you are into the delta stage that is where the frequency of your thoughts is somewhere between 0 to 4 hertz only that means the minimum amount of thoughts is maximum maybe 4 thoughts in your mind when you are sleeping and this happens when you are in a deeper sleep or a deep meditative state that is when you are actually beyond your consciousness of your body so you are detached actually or you are into the astral plane or you have your astral body disconnected from the physical body next level which we are talking about is the theta level so in the theta level the frequency is something between 4 to 8 hertz this is where you are in a deep meditation for sure but in this you are in deep sleep but not completely you still have more number of thoughts as compared to your delta stage between 4 to 8 let's say 4 to 8 thoughts itself equivalent to 4 to 8 frequency then comes the next frequency you see from deep sleep we are going towards being awake or complete wakefulness now third level is your alpha state alpha state is a state of awareness alertness but at the same time calmness okay this is a state where you are little bit of closer to sleepiness but not complete after this we come to the beta stage where your frequency is something between 8 hertz to 14 hertz and in this your thoughts have increased a lot so in the beta stage your thought moment is more that means your alertness is a little more higher that means you're doing thinking cognitive aspects also you're working at the same time you're thinking about how to improve about the solutions in life and in this stage Sometimes you are using certain energies in your thoughts which could be aggression, which could be a little bit of greed, anger or jealousy or certain things but not to a very high degree but to a little parameter which is close to virtuelessness or let's say impurity in your thoughts. Now the final stage is the gamma stage. Now the gamma stage is a frequency which is 40 hertz and beyond so in this stage it could be between 40 to 100 hertz also this is where 
your waves are sinusoidal. If you think about it, I've put up a chart over here and you can look at the chart in which you see the different wave patterns and the frequencies which are going through in your mind. So in this stage, you have extreme of thoughts in your mind which are going on. It could be stress, it could be tension, it could be anger, it could be anguish, it could be greed, it could be jealousy, competition, anything else. Now, what do we do? Now imagine yourself, when you are trying to sleep, you are maybe starting from a gamma stage, depending upon your spiritual level, depending upon your peace level, or you might be starting from somewhere in the alpha stage, where you are calm and composed, but still alert. Or you could be starting directly from the theta stage. That is a very, very, very high stage. And delta stage is very rare in people. Now, very high practitioners of meditation, which I'll be sharing about how to get into that kind of meditation, where I have beautiful sleep, very high practitioners of meditation, they try to lower the frequency from between 40 to 100 hertz, which 95% of the people in the world are having right now. And they lower the frequency from that hertz to bring it down to at least the alpha level where your frequency is somewhere between your 14 to 30 hertz. That means you are alert also. And at the same time, you are calm and composed. You take your frequency by meditation from alpha down to theta, which is 4 to 14 hertz. And then you take it further down from your theta stage to your delta stage, which is 0 to 4 hertz. How do you do that? Through meditation for sure. But let's say for a basic and a generalized situation, you're going to sleep right now. The three things which you should avoid so that your frequency doesn't go into the gamma level completely is you should avoid first thing is watch angry, violent, fearful movies or anything to do with any kind of disturbing news. So if you watch anything on these things before sleeping, let's say you have a general pattern of sleeping at around 10, 10.30. I hope you do so. Some people are going beyond 11, 12 and even 1 o'clock. Now they disturb a sleeping pattern. And when they do so, it affects even your hormones and it affects even your health completely. Even your brain waves are not able to match up with the waves of the surrounding and the nature. You are completely cut off from the surrounding and the nature. When you cut yourself from the surrounding and the nature, every thought which you have goes towards more towards the gamma. That means more of irritation, more of frustration and more of in or imbalance in your thoughts. Now we were talking about moving from gamma towards the sleep stage. So we are reducing one very important thing is we are watching something which is non-violent, non-angry and we are watching something which is not anything to do with fear. That is one thing which you have to take care of. The second thing which you need to take care of, which is very, very crucial is do not have any kind of snacks, late night snacks. If you're having anything which is to do with high sugar, which is to do with high fat and high cholesterol and very high protein diet or very high carbohydrate, which is accompanied by sugars, obviously. So when you're taking something which is very heavy in your food, before sleeping or right before sleeping or you have crossed your 8, 8.30 mark of having dinner and you are now at 10 o'clock or 10.30 and you start having something which is heavy, it immediately wakens up your complete physical system. So now you have two things. One is a sympathetic and one is a parasympathetic system in your body. The sympathetic system is I'm talking to you right now. I'm cognitive. I'm using all my cognitive behaviors over here. I'm listening, I'm thinking, and I'm seeing, and I'm hearing at the same time. Now, parasympathetic is something which is to do with the subconscious, which is taking care of your breathing, which is taking care of your complete blood circulation, which is taking care of your complete digestive system. So when you're thinking about these things, the parasympathetic needs to be active while you're sleeping. But if you make it more active by having late dinner or by having very late snacks, then you are awakening the parasympathetic. That means your breathing pattern. That means your complete blood pressure and also your digestive system is widely awake when you are supposed to sleep. So this is when you 
do not have anything heavy at all. You might have a glass of water before sleeping, maybe at least around an hour or so, so that you go back to the loo and you empty yourself. In my case, I drink water and sleep because I don't feel so much of a need to get up in the night and go and take a leak. But I'm talking about people who have issues with the kidneys or issues with constant going to the urinal. Now, third thing which you need to avoid is to have any kind of quarrel before you sleep. That means you should not have any kind of discussions, very heavy discussions before you're sleeping with your wife, with your children, with your business partners or anything, any kind of stressful decisions which are taken at night, any kind of quarrels should be completely avoided. Or if you have had something, then try to sub minimize it by having humility, by just taking the first step of having and accepting defeat. Because when you take the defeat from somebody in quarrel, you make the surrounding peaceful. You can take this topic up to the next day and once you wake up or after some time you can talk about it. But at least before sleeping, do not have any kind of quarrel. I think that's more than enough for your sleep. But now the three things which you can do is totally opposite of this. Have something peaceful to think about. Watch something which is funny. Watch something which is loving. Watch something which is lighter before you sleep. Rather, I would say it is better if you don't even see anything before you sleep. It is better if you read something which is peaceful. It is better if you watch something which is more on a peaceful side. If you can read, it's much better than even watching it. Second thing which you can do is you can have your dinner which is a little earlier. I would say 9 o'clock is the deadline. 8.30 would be perfect. 8 o'clock is awesome, 7.30 is great. Well, some people who are sitting in and, and staying in cities, they might not be able to do at 7.30, but 8.30 to maximum 9 is okay. 10, 10.30, 11 is, is poisonous for your body. Don't at all get into that kind of habit. It's really poisonous and it doesn't allow you to have a good sleep. Because remember, the parasympathetic system is awakened when you're trying to sleep. And the third thing which you should do is you should always stop any kind of quarrel. Never allow any kind of disturbing thoughts to be there because any kind of disturbing thoughts means you're going straight away to the gamma and you will take a lot of time tossing and turning, being peaceless at night because of that quarrel, because of that high intensity of thoughts which you have created. You actually made your mind very fluctuating with 40 hertz to 100 hertz of frequency of thoughts be it anger, be it loud voice, be it talking in a loud voice, be it frustration, be it blaming or anything else. So avoid those things and you'll have a beautiful sleep. Take care. I'm going to talk about more things in the sleep factor in the next episode. Till then, take care and bye-bye. See you.